an industry and as companies, we need to take responsibility for outreach to, to all of our stakeholders, and including talking to uh, uh, people with whom we are not necessarily aligned all the time. We find ourselves at the intersection of, of so many uh, basic uh, societal uh, demands in terms of, uh, of, of, of customer options, affordability, reliability, uh, environmental stewardship. My personal goal is to, where we can, to elevate those conversations to a point where we can reach some agreements on the things that, that matter most ultimately uh, to all of us and then to the degree we can de-emphasize some of the some of the second tier issues but we we think about innovation in two ways there's innovation on the system and there's innovation adjacent to the system you can also think about innovation as being sustaining or disruptive uh, open the uh, door of a service vehicle a line truck look in a crew room, uh, visit a grid operations center. There is so much technology that's being deployed in the system right now. We've uh, talked about it in, in terms of a, uh, a journey from old town uh, to new town, and right now it seems like we're in busy town, uh, really. Uh, and we're trying to harmonize the introduction of technology at the speed of value uh, and in ways that are ultimately valuable to our customers, but also giving uh, our employees the tools they need to provide better and better service. I think there are multiple technologies that we have to pay attention to and embrace. The ability to deploy uh, smaller, smarter devices much, much further out in the grid, and that gives us greater visibility uh, into how the system is operating at the distribution level and even below. And those same technologies then are going to give our customers uh, much better visibility as well. I'm certainly interested in storage technologies. Uh, and our, our system, uh, as a, a relatively rural system, has some particular challenges. Obviously, ideally, you have uh, service to any customer from, uh, from two directions. Well, we have uh, many customers who are served on uh, essentially one direction radial lines and those radial lines are often uh, going for miles and miles out across the plains or up over the top of the Rocky Mountains. So potentially the ability to uh, uh, deploy storage on those radial lines uh, can do a great deal to enhance reliability to those customers. If you deploy enough storage in those distributed situations coupled with controls, you are at least creating one opportunity to help meet uh, needs on the supply side as well. So I think there's a lot of opportunity around that. Regulation is a key component of the electric and gas industries. Critical infrastructure and essential service and our regulators set the environment, set the context in which we do our work. So ideally, I think there should be a sense of shared stewardship and shared purpose. A rapid disruption, innovation, modernization, I think regulatory systems uh, need to go through the same process. I would suggest moving away, where possible, uh, from relying uh, entirely on contested cases and formal processes, moving away from being as backward looking, um, looking for opportunities to be more collaborative, to be more forward looking at the core. And that creates expectations, responsibilities really for those of us in the industry to try to work with policymakers and regulators to ensure that they are as fully informed as possible. But it also does create responsibilities, uh, parallel responsibilities for people in those, in those critical public positions. I, I love my job. I get to work with the finest people I've ever met uh, in a part of the world that I love and care about deeply to provide the most important services to our customers and to our communities. Every day I learn something new from the people I work with. I learn something new from our customers. Uh, every day I, I hear a story about how 
our employees have, have done something really meaningful, really important to, to the customers and communities that we serve. As technology changes, as policy issues uh, change, uh, that really is the universal constant. Leaders in the electric sector are, are in positions of trust. We have obligations, uh, obviously, to, uh, to shareholders if we're investor-owned. We have obligations to policymakers and, uh, and to, the, to the public. We have obligations to our employees, and then we have obligations ultimately to our customers. I think the ability to uh, look out, understand what's happening around us, to be aware of our situations, uh, to ask questions, uh, to be curious, uh, to be modest uh, are all tremendous assets. One of the things that impresses me is I have, have met really the, the most dedicated public servants working uh, in the utility sector uh, that I've ever encountered in my life. Uh, and that's, that's really something extraordinary and it's something that is not appreciated uh, from the outside, but the, the commitment to, to public service and ultimately doing the right thing, recognizing there are lots of uh, disagreement over what the right thing is, uh, is, is really profound. International collaboration has multiple values. Uh, first of all, uh, we share a common set of values. Everyone I've met in the industry is sincerely dedicated to developing infrastructure to serve their communities, to serve their countries. Second, though, shared challenges. Uh, the, the challenges of, of thinking about uh, new technology, thinking about disruption, uh, thinking about how to, how to serve currently underserved or in some cases unserved populations. Science, uh, business, even literature, so many of the, uh, the most creative and innovative developments uh, come from uh, come from people who have uh, a foot in more than one world, uh, who may have uh, emigrated again within a country, may have emigrated around the globe, uh, and have that kind of a cross-cultural experience. So the more exposure we all have uh, to different uh, parts of the world, different communities, I think the better. And uh, I give EEI tremendous credit for making the commitment that the organization has to bringing people with these core shared values together to talk about all of the exciting things that are happening in the industry.